Hello everybody. Today I'm gonna have us be making a color spinner and this is to help us uh, make some observations and figure out a little bit more about color itself. Uh, so the materials you're gonna need and they are in the back of the classroom on station four uh, is some index cards here, uh, probably two, three, uh, maybe even four. Um, a compass, we're gonna use that to draw a circle. We'll need some scissors. Uh, you'll need markers. Uh, you'll need at least red, blue, and yellow. Um, but you can grab a couple more colors, but these three you're definitely gonna need. These are our primary colors, the ones we use to uh, make other colors. And then you will need a piece of string about three feet long. Uh, this is a little short. This is all I had at home, but uh, use that white string uh, there in the classroom. All right, so the first step, once you get your compass, is you are going to draw a large circle. All right, so I'm gonna hold this in the middle, all right, in the in middle of the index card right here. And then I'm gonna find a little hole on the side to make, oh, this is, there we go. A hole on the side to make a large circle. I'm gonna have to move it here so I don't hit anything. And just hold that middle and just kind of go around. All right, and around. Oh, mine's right at the edge of the paper. That's okay. There we go. As long as we make a circle. All right. Next step, we're going to cut out the circle. All right. So, just going to cut. So now I have several kind of circles right here. All right. Uh, so the first, what we'll do is I make a spot right in the middle, and we're going to divide it into three sections. All right, so here, here, and here. Uh, and then you're going to color them uh, in the primary colors and try to color them real good. So one section you're going to make red. Oh, 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 I'm going to have to get a different one. I'll try that again. There we go, red. All right, so make sure you color them, fill them in as much as you can. All right, you can do better than that. Uh, then yellow, and then color that in real good. Even better than I am. Color it nice and to the edge, trying to fill all that white space. And then the last section, going to be blue all right so you're gonna color it ah, blue ah these are going all right. and, then, and if you come across oh markers that don't work at school again you can go ahead and throw that out throw that out so color it a lot better than that um, then you can do also an option is to use glue um, to glue two of these together just to make it a little more sturdy um, but if you don't have glue that's fine um, then you're going to poke holes kind of right opposite each other uh, towards the middle so you're going to poke a hole here right there and you're going to poke a hole just opposite that the center right there all right and if you glue two of them together or tape two of them together, it's a little better because it's a little bit more sturdy. Um, I can even I would do that now. And I wish I had cardboard for everyone. Um, cardboard works really well uh, to do that too. Uh, once you have the holes, you're gonna take the string and you are going to loop it through. So you're gonna put the string through the hole like that. So put it through. Now I'm going to come back around the other side here. I'll have to make a bigger hole on this side. <gasps> Man, this is harder than it looks. Maybe I'll use the scissors to kind of push it through. That might help. Ah, finally. Uh, so there. So I kind of loop it through and then you're just gonna tie the two ends together here. So tie the two loose ends together. So you kind of just tie a knot, all right. So then you have one continuous loop. 
Um, you can either color both sides too. Um, so then once you have a continuous loop, then you can twist it. All right, you're gonna, and you want it to be straight up and down. It's where the cardboard comes in handy. All right, and you kind of twist your, there we go, we twist it. And then we'll let it go and it will spin. And we should be able to see uh, what happens to the color. So the whole thing is, I want you to observe when you spin, um, what happens to the different colors. So what you're basically observing. Yeah, there we go. So then we like that and pull it apart. You go like that and get it straight and spin. So you might wanna color both sides. When you're done, um, as always, please, you can uh, hang on to these if you want. Bring them home. Maybe you've got little brothers and sisters that can play with them. Um, but again, put your materials away. Put the scissors where you got them. Put the markers back where you got them. Make sure that you throw your scraps out. These should find their way to the trash cans, okay? So let's be responsible and take care of our own stuff. All right, have fun.